Welcome to Webstyle Press. In this video, I will show you how to harness the power of multiple GPTs in a single chat GPT conversation. Imagine tapping into a diverse pool of GPTs from one spot, enabling a rich variety of responses. This approach not only boosts productivity, but also saves time, since there is no need to jump between different GPTs to collect information. Here is how it works. In an ongoing chat, I can interact with ChatGPT as usual. Then, by simply using the at the rate sign, I can call on another GPT to chime in with insights on a specific subject. This seamless integration allows for a more efficient and comprehensive dialogue, enriching overall experience with a breadth of expertise at our fingertips. For example, let's select this GPT and then ask question. Give me three latest meme topic ideas. I asked Gen Z for meme GPT about latest meme topic ideas and received a response like this. Now let's ask another GPT. At the rate, shirt, shirt whiz. Give me shirt design idea based on Gen Z meme topic. Let's select this topic. It's giving. And here's the response from another GPT in the same window. This one from Gen Z for meme and this one from shirt whiz. And second GPT suggested what should be written on front of the shirt, what kind of graphics can we use, what kind of colors can we use, and how back of the shirt should look like. So after you are done with that GPT, close it by clicking X icon from prompt dialog box. Similarly, if you are into code, let's say you are learning about arrays in JavaScript. From the same conversation window, you can ask ChatGPT something like, Give me brief definition of arrays in JavaScript. Now this is the explanation of what is arrays in JavaScript. Then I can use at the rate sign and use my GPT code mentor to ask this question. Give me basic code example of JavaScript array. And here's the code, not a general code example, but exactly how I want it because I designed code mentor GPT specific to my needs. One thing to note here, when you type at the rate, it will show you your GPTs and recently used GPTs by you in the drop down. So for this technique to work, you should create your own GPT or you should have communicated with other GPTs from explore GPTs link in sidebar. From explore GPTs page, you can click my GPTs to open page containing GPTs that you have created. If you haven't created a GPT, click create a GPT link to start creating one. So anyways, by using add the rate sign inside prompt dialog box, you can call other GPTs to use in the same conversation in chat GPT. Personally, I find this feature very useful. I don't have to switch between different GPTs to get different information. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.